Bismillahirrahmanirrahim with the name of Allah who is very kind and merciful welcome to my topper student channel in this channel you will find the solution of mathematics A level and O level and computer science as well in order to search this channel on the YouTube please use the word my topper student you will find the channel my topper student Today we shall discuss the third question of computer science 9618 variant 42 question number 3 for paper 4 practical session by June 2023. In question number 3 a company needs a computer program to store data about its employees. The part of the program is being written using the object oriented programming. The class implies stored data about the employees. Each employee has an employee number, a job title and hourly pay rate. The class will also store the amount they are paid each week over a 52 week years in a one dimensional array. The employee classes as follow as given in the question having hourly pay of real type employee number of string job title of string pay year 2022 array of 0 to 51 of real number similarly the constructor for the classes iterates initiate early employee number and job title from the valid pass as a parameter initialize all the 52 element in the pay year 2022 to point and then method get employee numbers returns the employee number and set pay takes the week number and number of hours worked they were week as a parameter calculate the and store the pay for that week in pay year 2022 and the method get total pay returns the total of all the values in pay year 2022 for part a write a program code to declare the class employee you only need to declare the class and its constructor do not declare any other methods use your programming language appropriate constructor if you are writing program code in python includes the attribute declaration using the comments so first of all we shall check the solution for part a first part in the solution section for this for part a first we are declaring the class employee after that this is the constructor of the class according to the requirement of the question we are passing the parameter employee number pay per hour and job title and accordingly we are assigning these parameter in the constructor and we are also initializing the pay year array for up to 50 for the part second the method get employee number returns the employee number write a program code for the method get employee number now we write the program code for the get number get number self is passing the object of the class and returns self dot employee number this method will return the employee number for the third part the method set pay takes a week number and a number of hours worked that week as a parameter. Calculate the pay for that week by multiplying the hourly pay by the number of hours worked that, that week. Store the calculated pay in the appropriate index for that week in pay year 2022. Write a program code for the method set pay. Now we write the method of the set pay. In the set pay method, we are passing the week number and the hours after that we are calculating the pay according to the given week number for the last one the method the method get total pay returns the total of all the values in the pay year 2022 write a program code for the method get total pays now we write the method for total pay and the get total pay self we are returning the sum of 
all the pay in a year 2022 for the part b the child class manager inherits from the parent class employee a manager gets a bonus this bonus value is a parameter for example 10% when calculating the pay the number of hours the manager worked that week is in is increased by the bonus value so the manager class attributes are given like first one is bonus value next is constructor next is set pay method for the this and the for part a write up write the program code to declare the class manager you only need to declare the class and its constructor do not declare any other method use your primary language as appropriate programming language as appropriate constructor if you are writing in python include the attribute declaration using the comments so now first of all wish for the part 1 we are declaring the manager class class manager imply passing the imply for the inheritance and the constructor is self employee number pay of par hour job title and bonus p super means the parent class initiate 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 the employee number pay par hour job title and the add self dot bonus value equal to bonus for the second the manager method set pay overrides the method from the parent class and takes the week number and the number of hours worked as parameter and increases the number of hours worked by the bonus value class set pay from the parent class write a program code for the method set pay now we write the program for the set pay in the set pay we are passing the week number and hours and this is returning the calculating the hours after calculating the hours the super method of the parent class using the set pay in which we are passing the week number and the hour that we have calculated in the bus step for the part c the main program has a global one dimensional array employee array to store the data about the eight employees each employee is stored as a object object of the type employee the file employee employees.txt stores data about the employees in the order hourly pay rate employee number bonus value job title so in the solution section only employee who are manager have a bonus value saved for example for example the for example the first employee is a junior developer with the employee number 12452 and an hourly rate is 15.22 this employee does not have a bonus value the third employee the third employee is an interface manager with the employee number of 02586 and an hourly rate is 22.5 this this employee has a bonus value of 5.25 percent write up main program code to declare the array to store the data about eight employees read the data from the file for each employee initiate each employee as a as other employee if the employee does not have a bonus value or manager if the employee has a bonus value so first of all in the solution section first in this we shall we shall write the employee.txt to complete this part our employee.txt well contains the this one employee number all the four parameter as stated in the question statement so next one we are we have taken the employee array after that we have assigned the try and catch method we are taking the employee.txt as i have explained in the bus step after that we shall open this file and read the file line by line in the range from 0 to 4 because there are five number in the employee we are calculating the pay id bonus and title these are the parameter for the class now in the next step in the part d the file hours work dot txt store the number of hours each employee has worked in the week in the order employee number and number of hours 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फर्स्ट सेट ऑफ डाटा इज फॉर एम्प्लॉय टू वन फाइव फोर फाइव हु हैज वर्क फिफ्टी पॉइंट जीरो आवर्स द प्रोसीजर एंटर आवर्स राइट द वैल्यू फ्राम द फाइल फाइंड द लोकेशन ऑफ ईच एम्प्लॉय इन एम्प्लॉय रे कॉल द मैथड सेट पे फॉर ईच एम्प्लॉय राइट द प्रोग्राम कोड फॉर द एंटर आवर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर वी शैल इन पार्ट डी वी शैल राइट द मैथड एंटर आवर्स फॉर द एंटर आवर्स वी नीड आवर्स वीक डॉट ई एक्स टी दैट वेल कंटेन द एम्प्लॉय नंबर एंड इट्स नंबर ऑफ आवर्स ही हैव वर्कड सो इन दिस केस अवर एम्प्लॉय इज एंटर आवर्स मैथड इज एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर डिफाइनिंग द मैथड एंटर आवर्स बाई यूजिंग द ट्राई कैच मैथड वी आर ओपनिंग द आर्स वीक डॉट टी एक्स टी एज आई है मैंशन इन द अब स्टेप वी शैल ओपन इट एंड आफ्टर दैट वी शैल अप्लाई द लूप एंड वी शैल कैलकुलेट एम्प्लॉय आई डी एंड आफ्टर दैट एम्प्लॉय गेट एम्प्लॉय नंबर सेट पे एंड इफ देर इज नो फाइल वी शैल आई कुड नॉट फाइंड द फाइल फॉर द पार्ट ई फर्स्ट The main program needs to call enters or and use the method get pay get total pay to output the employee number and total pay for each of the eight employee. Amend the main program to perform to perform these task. So in E part one we shall call we shall call the method enter ors. so we are call the and we are calling the enter or after that we have apply the loop for y in range 0 to length employee printing the employee number and its value and its bonus value for the part is test your program take a screenshot of the output now we shall take the screenshot of the output as we are executing the python file python cs a level my june 2020 dot py when we execute the file we shall get the answer for the employee 1 for the employee 2 for the employee 3 and its and its earning the whole program code this code is this uh, part is not included in your question in your question this is only for the learning purpose so that you can learn the whole program step by step first of all we are declaring the class employee after that we are defining the get employee number after that we are defining the set pay get total pay uh, after this we are declaring the manager class and inherit the employee class this is the constructor and this is the set pay method for this in the main program we are declaring the employee array after that we are using the try catch method we are open the class and after that we open the file after that we are reading the file line by line and get the pay for the employee so in this case again we are declaring the employee array and define the enter ors method as you can see i have already explained in the above parts of the question Thank you very much for watching the solution wish you good luck for your exam